Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to ah. Fan Fiction Drinking Games, My Immortal. <laughs> We've made it to the halfway point, chapter 22. I'm still joined by my special guest, the Lucas Reveal. Hi. How are you doing? I'm a little bit more tired than the last one, but I'll be okay. Well, that normally happens when we get into this. Whenever we're simply only drinking stuff with caffeine and sugar and we're all crashing. And we're all... Completely coming. understandable. I've been... I was in Lazy Players. I understand. Oh, I had tried to do root beer before, but John's nixed that. He's like, no more of this. No more of this. Because he, like, overdid it, and it went up his nose. So... Mm. Is there anything else that comes in glass bottles? Uh, oh, yeah, the root beer comes in glass bottles. I like glass bottles. I think they have more of a body to them than the canned Coke. Yeah. While smaller, they do have a much nicer, different flavor. Mm -hmm. Anyway. <laughs> I like how we're discussing it like fine <clears throat> wine. Mm -hmm. mm, yes, I'm quite the fan uh, of the bottled Coke. But it's mm. better than the can type. It's better than the can type. The can type is too thin. It hasn't aged properly. Mm, quite. <laughs> yes. Alright. Anyway. So where we last left <coughs> off, um, I'm not necessarily sure what happened. I don't think we ever know. That, that, that's what I'm assuming from my whopping experience of one recording so far. Of one recording. And, and listening in on editing the tape. Yeah. Yeah, that that's always good. We're never necessarily sure about what's going on in this story. Things just kind of happen and then mean nothing. <laughs> what I have this feeling that one of them could die and then just come back like nothing happened. Uh, that's technically happened twice. Oh, <laughs> nice. Draco died and is back, and uh, is he a zombie vampire? I have no idea. And uh, I think Raven had... Raven got expelled and murdered and raped after death. I remember you talking about that one because of the split but with the author a, and editor. Yeah, right. but she's uh, back now for no reason. <laughs> anyway, like, yeah, they've, they've cheated death many times on this thing. It's fine. It's not like anything else makes sense. Yeah. I am really God. Okay, so, as always, we begin with notes from the author. <coughs> Stafu! Preps, stop flaming, uh, flaming, okay? If you do not lick it, fook of, I know it's Mr. Norris. Wait, what? I know it's Mr. Norris. It's Raven's fault, okay? One, one. Oh, uh, my, my, my. <laughs> Who's Mr. Norris? I think he's a janitor, but so is Filch. But so is Filch. Was Mr. Norris ever a character in Harry see, Potter? Are we going to be, like, experiencing janitor romance soon? Oh! oh. <laughs> we already have Albert Dumbledore as a poser goth. We do not need janitor love. <laughs> uh, you mm. suck! Are you talking to Raven or the people reading it? I think us, because yeah. she hates all of us. That's why she persists in writing this story. No, just kidding, Raven. You... Fokaiing... Whoa, that's hard to say. Shot. Fokaiing... Roke. Preps. Suck. One. <clears throat> Alright, Lucas. <clears throat> All day, everyone talked about the misery of magic. Misery of magic? You, I thought it was the mystery of magic. I thought it was the mystery mobile. I thought it was the magic of magic. I thought it was the magic school bus. <laughs> well, anyway, I woke up the next day. I was in my coffin, so I opened the door. I was wearing black lacy leather pajamas. Then I gasped. Shot for appearances. Standing in front of me were... No, standing in front of me where... Ellipses, 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 ellipses. Lottie Mary. <laughs> semicolon. Shot. Vampire. Diabolo. Draco. Dracula. Oh, she spelled it right. Before it was Dracola. And now it's Dracula. 
Yay, she's learning. Yeah, no, she's not. <laughs> and like Willow. To, <laughs> I like to believe. Well, sh- Ooh, I get the bigot. <clears throat> I opened my crimson eyes. Willow was wearing a tight black leather top with pictures of bloody roses all over it. Shots for appearances. Under that, she warped, uh, warped a black poofy skirt with lace on it. With lace on it. Wit lace, excuse me. It's, it's hard to tell. I know, it's... and it, I'm like programmed to just look over to read it normally. Like normally, no. Yeah, and like try not to judge it, but I have to because yeah. that's what this revolves around. In black gothic boots that was attached to the top. Oh, God. oh man, more appearance. Yeah. Vampire was wearing a baggy, simple, plan t shirt. <laughs> shot for appearances and shot for reference. And baggy black pants and vans. Draco was wearing a black MCR t-shirt and black jeans and a leather jacket. Okay. Two more shots. Uh. He looked just likey Gerard Way and almost as fucking sexy. Ah, just likey Gerard Way. Just likey. Shot, that's a new one. Uh. <clears throat> Vampire looked like Joel Madden, but Luddy Mary was wearing a tight black poofy gothic dress that she had ripped so it showed of all of her clearance oh. <laughs> with a white oh. apron that said Bish, Bish. <laughs> Bick, excuse me, and other swear words and MCR lyrics on it, kind of like one dress I had seen Amy Lee wear once. Well, that is a long sentence. That is a long sentence. And also... Uh, all her, all her clearage. All of her clearage, exactly. We have Bloody Mary on sale for nine ninety nine. It's our, it's our clearage sale. <laughs> uh, Lord Hermione, what did they do to you? Oh, is that who it's supposed to be? Yeah, okay. No. Oh, Bloody man. Mary is Hermione. <clears throat> Vampire is Harry Potter. I, I caught up on Harry Potter. I did not know that Hermione was. Diabolo, I believe, is Ron. <clears throat> okay. Draco is Draco. <laughs> Dracula or Dracola was uh, Neville, I think. I was going to actually guess Neville. And Willow is Raven. Uh, uh-huh, uh-huh. So there the Willow, to... The Willow was supposed to be expelled and killed and... I think raped also, maybe. Raped, but... All right, all right. I know a little bit. All right. She was weaving a ripped gothic black... No, you t- skipped this. I, I am... Oh, that's right. I am sorry. Uh, Darkness, who is Jenny... Who is Jenny. <laughs> was there, too. Okay. Uh, you... This is the... Okay, you've just introduced this character for the first time ever. In for the, the middle, first time in forever. In the middle of a, she's not even in the like the, the like thing before. You say Bloody Mary, Vampire, Diabolo, Drac- Draco, Dr- Dracula, and Willow are there. Who the hell is Darkness? <laughs> Figment of her imagination. No, it's it's Jenny apparently. To which I say, who the hell is Jenny? She's never brought her up before in this story. Isn't that a Weasley? Oh my god. <laughs> I think that's the that's Ron's sister. Oh my god. I think so. No, she got it wrong though, because Ron's sister's name is Ginny. Exactly, yeah. Oh my god, so that's one shot for new character, one shot for rechristening a character. Two shots for getting their normal name wrong. That's four shots. Yeah, just take one giant shot. That's what John and Greg sometimes do. Yeah, because it's just like... This is going to sound weird, but my lips are sore from this. <laughs> and so is my throat. Because it's just like... What are we... Okay, we Jake... Just uh, uh, okay. new characters out of nowhere. We, we're, we've used 14 so far. And odds are I've drank it... Eight. Jacob's had eight, because I'm pretty sure I've had more than him. Yeah, there you go. I know. We go. We. Oh. This, mm. 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 She was weaving a ripped gothic black dress with ripped stuff all over it, and a lace-up top thing in big and po- black pointy boots. Excuse me. Okay, so appearance, weaving, wearing, and that's all I got. I think I'm catching on. <laughs> Okay. You got a whole rest of a...
Yeah, yeah. Meant, okay. meant for drinking. Oh. Oh, yeah. Yeah, because we thought we were doing it by sentence. No. Okay. We're doing it by paragraph. Oh, gosh. So were Crab and Goyle. <laughs> Go uh, Goyly? Uh, oh, man. <laughs> I know that they're supposed to be Dr Draco's friends. Who have not been mentioned before. Who are story. you people? <laughs> oh my god. Where the hell are all these people coming from? I think they're vampires so they're just materializing out of thin air or oh. bats or something. I don't know. They just keep showing up. They, we, oh my god. We have never heard of these people before. <laughs> uh, uh, oh god. Did she even spell like their names right? I'm going to say no. May as well just, just finish this off. Yeah, really. I'm just gonna say no because I do not believe in this girl. Oh, oh, oh my god. <clears throat> Give me a second, guy. Get another one. All right. <clears throat> it turns out that Darkness Diabolo Crab and Goyle's dad was a vampire. Wait, wh what? Goyle, what's Goyle's dad doing there? <laughs> Um, oh. why? Okay. Dark darkness. Crab and Goyle? Would, would that be... Are, they, are Crab and Goyle supposed to be... It's supposed to be the... The twin the brothers? Because, like... Wait, what? Darkness is supposed to be Jenny. You told me Diabolo is Ron. Yeah. And then... That would... Um, off of that um, logic, that... Mean, what? What? What the? <laughs> oh, uh, 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 and I can't even remember his, his oh. brother's names, which makes me feel stupid. Oh my! To the internet! God! Just so that I could actually use the oh, name and stop just cow. sounding like an idiot. Cause may as well get like the Harry Potter Wikipedia going. What the hell is going on with this? Story. All right. These people are literally coming out of nowhere. Mm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, so all of the Weasleys have been recurrent. All of them. Yay! We got three new characters in one paragraph. Holy cow! Okay, Weasley family. Here we go. Oh, oh I saw them. I saw them for a second. Fred and George. Wow, I am stupid. Wow, that's quite a long way to go. Ugh. Off of Crab and Goyle. May as well try to look those up while, while I'm on here. Oh my god. Crab. Crab is a character, okay? Okay. This way. Oh, no, is that it? Oh. Never mind, it's just like going into the, what a crab is. Oh, okay. Excuse cool. me. The fire crab is a type of magical crab. All right, we don't need this information. Just keep Goyle. Going. Just keep going with the story, Lucas. Goyle is a person. I, think. I know Goyle is a person. Just keep going with the story. He committed suicide by slitting his wrists with a razor. You can't. He's a vampire. That's not how it works. You need to. He, unless it's a wooden stake, he can't be killed. I, I'm sorry, but Goyle is a death eater. Yeah, I know Goyle's a okay, death eater. Okay, okay. Okay. Oh, you mean a death dealer, right? Yeah, a death dealer. He's one of the death dealers? He's a death dealer. Oh uh, my god. He, he, he can't commit suicide by slitting his wrist if he's a vampire. And besides that, uh, but the amount of times people slit their wrists in the story, I don't think it's going to kill him. I'm pretty sure that everyone would have just, uh, if they died, they would. he's probably going to come back. Let's just... May as well, we should just keep side notes of everyone that dies and well, see if they come that, back. Yeah, really. Yeah, we should just have a notepad off to the side with this. Yeah, really, because these people come back more than the people on Dragon Ball Z and Bridge. <laughs> That's so true. Okay. He had raped them and stuff before, too. Oh, oh, oh. I, I can't live in this world anymore. <laughs> well, I guess I gotta rape my kids first. <laughs> uh. that, that, yeah, that, that's how I want them to remember me. I want their final memory of me to be when I had sex with them against their will. Brilliant. Just going out with a bang. I did not. Yeah, I did not intend that. And I heard, I was like, Darn it, Lucas. 
Shut up, Lucas. <laughs> they all got so depressed that they became gothic and converted to stand it. Stanism. Just to stanism. <laughs> we praise you, Stan. All hail the mighty Stan. Mm. Oh, man. Off! I yielded as I jumped up. Why the fuck are you all here? Inobi, something is really fucked up, Draco said. Okay, but I need to put my fucking clothes on first, I shouted angrily. It's alright, we have to go and... You look kawaii anyways. <laughs> You're so fucking beautiful, Draco said in a sexy voice. Yeah, we, we talked about kawaii before. Oh my gosh, there's a guy who goes, goes to college with... With us. With us, yes. He attends the same college. He has sweatpants that say kawaii on both legs. <laughs> I imagine he's the one who... He probably helped write this story. <laughs> I have no idea. We can imagine it. Oh, all right, I said, smiling. But you have to tell me why you're being all erective. <laughs> erective? <laughs> Shut <laughs> I will, I will, he said. I will, I will. I will, I will. Oh. Mm. <clears throat> so I just put on some black eye. Oh my god, we're going into appearances again, aren't we? Yay! A shot. So I just put on some black eyeliner, black lipstick, and red eyeshadow and white foundation. Then I came. God <laughs> damn it. <laughs> All the time with you and your updates on who's coming and where. <laughs> We all went outside the great howl and looked in from a window. From a window. <laughs> Whoa! Hey, what? We all went outside the great howl and looked in from a widow. A widow. We looked at a wi We looked through the widow, you see. Shot, two shots. A fucking prep called Brittany from Gryffindor was standing next to us. She was wearing a pink mini and a Hillary Duff t-shirt, so we put up our middle fingers at her. <laughs> oh my god, it's the chapter one again! <laughs> Inside the Great Hall, we could see Dumbledore. Cornelia Fudge! <laughs> okay. Two shots. Cornelia Fudge was there shouting at Dumbledore. Doris Rumbridge! <laughs> Shot. <laughs> Two shots. Was there too. This cannot be, she shouted angrily. The school must be closed. The Bark Lord is... <laughs> <laughs> The Bark Lord is planning to kill the students, yelled Cornelia Fudge. <clears throat> the Bark Lord. The Bark Lord. I'm not sure if they're talking about dogs or the tree or yes. I speak for the trees. <laughs> God, if the Bark Lord was the Lorax, I swear. <clears throat> uh, shot, two shots. The Bark Lord. You know, Voxamort went through some weird phases. <laughs> He didn't want to be the Dark Lord anymore, no. He wanted to be the Bark Lord. <laughs> I he could even be talking about, like, I, peppermint I, bark. I imagine him in the Forbidden Forest, just, like, <laughs> just standing in the middle of it with no one else around. I command you, tree, <laughs> for I am the Bark Lord. <laughs> well, he gets a dog. I will command you to bark, for I am the Bark Lord. <laughs> How many different bark puns can you make? Although there's peppermint bark also. I command you to be as too minty, for I am the peppermint bark. <clears throat> you are not fit to be the principal any longer, yelled Rumbridge. You are too old and your Alzheimer's is dangerous. <laughs> what? 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 <laughs> uh, your Alzheimer's is dangerous. It goes off like a time bomb. What the hell? I mean, even if it he blew up, he'd be back in the next chapter, apparently. Uh, oh, my God. <laughs> Albert Dumbly Dork has Alzheimer's. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you must retry or Voldemort will kill your students. Retry what? Apparently Alzheimer's. Apparently he's Alzheimer's. 
Uh, you better scold that those Alzheimer's. Very well, Dumbledore said angrily. But <laughs> cheap laugh. <laughs> but we cannot do this. We can't close the school. There is only one person who is capable of killing Voldemort, and she is in the school. Oh. <laughs> Oh. I am so sure. And her name is Ellipses, 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 Ellipses. Enani. <laughs> Two shots. Enani, Darkness, Dementia, Ravenway. <laughs> Draco, crap, sorry, what? So, I guess this explains why Vampire was able to just wash off his scar. Because I guess the idea of him being the chosen one now is horse shit. <laughs> it was all building up to Enoni being the true hero. Being the true hero. <clears throat> As evidenced by her constant slitting of the wrists, having sex, and sticking her middle finger up at every other student in the school. <laughs> Not to mention her constant lack of respect for authority. And the many times she moshes in her room to MCR. The true hero. Truly. Only, only true heroes listen only to MCR. She, only she can kill Voldemort. <laughs> I want to see how this goes down whenever she fights Voldemort. I slid by my... Fucking <laughs> Alright. That's what you wanted. That's what I wanted you to do. Okay. Draco, Crab, Goyle, Darkness, Willow, Vampire, and Bloody Mary looked at each other. Ellipses, guess, ellipses, ellipses. I gasped. I guess Diabolo isn't there anymore. <laughs> guess not. And neither is Dracula. No, no, they just kind of went off. They kind of disappeared into... I think maybe... Uh, just a, like, I think just an assumption here. You might have put too many characters into a scene at the same time and lost track of who was there. <laughs> End of chapter 22. Holy cow. So what, that's the second half then? That will be the second half of the story. Oh, so, yeah. <clears throat> I'm going to do some reflection here without John and Greg, which is a shame, but so far we have made it halfway through the story. And it has all come down to this. Enobi or Inani or Ibondi or Ebony, <laughs> Dementia, Darkness, Terra, Wave, and Ray, <clears throat> has decided that she w is the, has been discovered as the one true hero who can kill Volksamort and his death dealers. And apparently the person that knew all along was Dumbledore. Was Dumbledore. And, uh, she's been so heroic up to now, so, oh my god, this really needed to take 22 chapters. <clears throat> this is the first plot point that's happened in the whole story, and it doesn't happen until chapter 22. Yo, I, I'm ready to see that second half. Oh... <clears throat> <clears throat> My guess is it's going to be like, okay, we're, it, it's just going to be Voldemort showing up again at an MCR concert. It's like, yo, let's fight. I hear you's the real chosen one. Come at me, bitch. <laughs> Holy you, cow. You creeped. Well, hopefully next week, guys, John and Greg will be here. Lucas, it's been a pleasure having you here for these few weeks. <laughs> Thank you. We'll see, maybe, if you want to come visit us again some other time. I'm certain we'd all be very glad <laughs> to. I'd be ready to watch people writhe in pain from this. Oh, uh, yes. I mean, you've seen me writhe in pain from Lazy Players anyway. Just yeah. reacting to half the things that Nick used to say. <laughs> Ah, uh, good times. Good, good times that uh, you probably couldn't pay me to relive. Oh. <clears throat> because that, that time I probably would have actually been involved with everything. Jeez. Yeah. Well, I guess we will be back next week to start 
God, the second half of my immortal. Dear God. Woo!